we have three more weeks left of the 2021 NFL season and the AFC North has been the most competitive and the most interesting division to watch this year. You have the Bengals 8-6, and six, the Ravens 8-6, and six, the Steelers 7-6-1, seven, and one, the Browns 7-7. Seven, and seven. All four teams have a shot at winning this thing and it's really crazy because all four of these teams have played some of the toughest schedules in the NFL. You look at the Steelers, man. They got a pretty rough stretch. They got to play Kansas City. They got to play the Browns. You got to play the Ravens on the road. Then for Cincinnati, they got to play the Ravens. Then they got to play the Chiefs. Then they travel on the road to Cleveland. The Browns got to play the Packers on the road. The Steelers on the road. Then the Bengals. And you look at Baltimore. They got to play Cincinnati on the road. Then they got to play the Rams. Rams and the Steelers and it's really exciting to see the AFC North this competitive because I can't recall the last time the AFC North has been this competitive since what 2014 14, 2015 ish, when you had Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Baltimore, who were really good. Then you had Cleveland, I believe. Cleveland, I forgot what year it was. It was the year before they drafted, or it might have been a year. It might have been, I don't remember, but it was one year when Cleveland ended up finishing out the year seven and nine. I don't know if it was Johnny Menzel's rookie season or not, or if it was before Johnny Menzel's rookie season, but it was one year when the AFC North was really competitive and all four teams were riding the thick in things. Now you look at all four of these squads, I think I'm probably going to have to side with the Ravens to win this division, as crazy as that may seem. And I said this last week when the Ravens were defeated by the Cleveland Browns. I still picked them to win this division. And I know that the Ravens are banged up right now. Lamar's hurt. But they've had some pretty good play out of Huntley. I've been really impressed with him. A lot of people have pretty much been saying, dang, man, so you mean to tell me that the Baltimore Ravens had a great value brand version of Lamar Jackson on the bench the whole time? I guess they have. When you look at Cincinnati, Cincinnati is really interesting because they have they're probably the most talented team in the division at the moment because the Browns right now are dealing with some injuries the Ravens have been dealing with injuries all this year then you look at Pittsburgh Pittsburgh hasn't really had the injury bug as bad as teams like the Ravens and the Browns they're just not really all that great the main reason why Pittsburgh is in the position that they're in right now is because of Mike Tomlin. So you look at all four of these teams, I really think that Baltimore is going to find a way to pull it off in the end. Now, they do have, you know, three tough games, but every team in this division has three has three remaining games that are really tough. And somebody on Twitter tried to say, oh, all four of these teams suck. No, they don't. Like, whoever wins this division... I believe is going to end up making it to at least a divisional round because all four of these teams have been battle tested. Like all four of these teams have played some of the strongest schedules in the league, especially Pittsburgh. Like Pittsburgh has to travel on the road to Kansas City and Kansas City is red hot right now. Baltimore has to play the Rams in two weeks. So you look at the Browns, they got to play Green Bay on the road in Lambeau in December. So all four of these teams are really good teams. Now I have been incredibly surprised that the Bengals are in the position that they're in right now not entirely surprised because before the season began we knew they had talent we knew that this team was going to be a pushover but when you look at Cincinnati they have been fairly inconsistent at times they tend to start games out really sloppy so I don't really know how I feel about Zach Taylor still trying to figure out is he a good coach is he an average coach still trying to come around on him but I'm still going to have my money on the Ravens still winning this division the reason for that is because I trust John Harbaugh John Harbaugh has done a phenomenal job with the Ravens this year despite all of the injuries that they've had and I feel like the Ravens are going to find a way to pull this thing off now Cleveland is really interesting because right now they are in the midst of a COVID outbreak but hopefully when they get everybody back 
Cleveland has one of the most talented rosters in the league when everybody's healthy. You know, they have great starters from top to bottom. They don't really have a lot of holes. They also have great depth at every single position. They're deep at corner. They're deep when it comes to their defensive line. Their offensive line also has pretty good depth as well. Now, the question is going to be Baker Mayfield. How is he going to perform? Now, his play has kind of improved over the last couple of weeks. Remember, he was getting a lot of scrutiny from the national media because of his poor play during the month of November and before because he was banged up. Well, now you look at him playing better. You can't count out the Browns, but at the same time, I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know because they have two really tough games back-to-back away games on the road in Lambeau then you got to travel on the road to Pittsburgh like those are two really tough away games and you don't really want to close out your season having to play Green Bay in December and Pittsburgh and Heinz Field in December those are the last two teams you want to play in December because they are incredibly tough to beat especially Pittsburgh then you look at the Steelers themselves I mean you got to go on the road and travel to Arrowhead now Pittsburgh has had a lot of success in the past on the road in Kansas City when they traveled to Arrowhead Stadium but that's a really tough game then you close it out with the Browns and the Ravens then for Baltimore you got to play Cincinnati remember the last time the Ravens played Cincinnati Cincinnati pretty much mopped the floor with them going to be interesting to seeing how their second rematch goes then you got to play the Rams the Rams essentially we all view as a Super Bowl contender so the team that probably has the easiest remaining schedule probably is nobody really because i mean cincinnati they gotta play b more than they gotta play kansas city the following week after pittsburgh plays them this week so none of these teams have really easy schedules to close out the year so it's going to be really interesting to see which team is going to be able to get hot during these last three games and whoever wins this division i believe is going to end up making it to the divisional round at least there are a lot of people that feel like whoever wins this division division is going to end up going one and done I don't really think that now if Pittsburgh ends up winning the division then I could see them going one and done but I can't really see Cincinnati Baltimore Cleveland really going one and done even with the Ravens they have had a lot of injuries, but they have been a really tough outing. And hopefully by that point, if they do win this division, they do get into the playoffs. So Mar Jackson should be healthy by then. So that should be an added boost. But overall, this division is really exciting. Like you got to go ahead and grab your popcorn because we don't really know who's going to win this thing. I still got my money on Baltimore. And remind you, I'm a Pittsburgh Steeler fan saying this i still believe in the ravens like they've done a phenomenal job like john harbaugh if they make it into the playoffs definitely should be in the running for coach of the year you can say the same thing with the steelers if they find a way to get in mike tomlin should be coach of the year but we've seen some really good coaching out of all four of these teams you look at cincinnati i've been pleasantly surprised with how good they've been this year even though they've have had games when they gotten a little bit sloppy in the first half i.e that long Los Angeles Chargers game which they ended up finding a way to come back but then late in the game the Chargers were able to pull away but I'm still taking the Ravens to win this division you guys let me know who you guys have winning this division down in the comment section down below if you are watching this on YouTube and make sure that you check out the JT Sports Podcast a lot of you guys don't know this but Every single video that is uploaded on the channel is available on every single podcasting platform in audio format, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts from, the JT Sports Podcast is available. All you got to do is go to the description down below, scroll down, and it will have all the links to the Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcast platforms. Or you can go to whichever podcasting app or platform you like to listen to your podcast on. Type in the JT Sports Podcast and it should pop up. Also, make sure that you leave a five-star review, like the video, and subscribe if you are watching on YouTube.